Okay, so we have our lovely ticketing system set up. We have our asset list set up. And now what we want to do is create an on-call schedule. And while you can do that with the calendar, um, there's, a, there's a way that I'm going to do it that's going to fit in with the workflow that we're going to create. So we'll go into site menu here, the gear symbol menu. Click on add an app. And we're going to make a custom list. We're going to call this on call schedule. And what it's going to be is an order. Um, let's see here. We need to edit the list. We'll rename the column to tech. We will add a number. We'll just call this order. And that's all we need to eat to add for this. So it's going to be a pretty small and easy list here. So we'll edit the list and we'll put one. He's number one. Brad. Oops. We'll add Brad in here. Or two. Or three will be Kevin. And Eric will be last. He'll be number four. So we'll also modify this view to make order be number one. Okay, so there's our list for that. So the way this is going to work is that there's an order of operation for who gets a ticket after hours. And we're not going to go into setting up schedules for uh, you know time periods and dates. That's a little more advanced than this, the scope of this. What we're going to do is we're going to add one more column and we're going to call this busy. We'll add a yes or a no. The default value is no. So we'll stop editing the list. So what will happen is um, if Juan is busy with another task, he'll be set to yes. Everybody else is going to be set to no by default. except for Brad for some reason. <laughs> okay, we'll set Brad to no. And there we go. And what we'll also do is we'll add a choice field, or I'm sorry, a lookup field for task. And we're gonna get information from help desk tickets. And we'll just put summary, okay. And that's it. Maybe, yeah, we'll add, yeah, we've got the summary field. Okay. So what this will do is like we have our test tickets in the ticketing list. If Juan is busy, he's going to set that he's working on test ticket one. We can look at that and see, oh, Juan's on working on Jim's PC. The ticket's open. Okay. So that's how our on-call schedule is going to work. So be sure to check out how we're going to use a workflow to combine all of these things together in our next video. And I'll put the link on our video on YouTube. Thanks.